Hello everyone. So, how am I going to solder these two pieces of wire together without a soldering iron? Well, keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so the main idea is after I've cleaned the both ends of the wires that I want to use, about half an inch or about a bit more than a centimeter, I'm going to take a blade or a knife of some sort and just clean the copper wires like this by scraping off any rust or debris or any harmful contaminants that might still be on them and maybe a loose wire like that as well. I did cut them a bit short so that might just be pulling out but that's not too big of an issue at this stage. Okay, so once you've scraped them clean on both sides, um, you basically put them over each other like this and then twist them together like this. So that they are neatly twisted and bound together like that. Thereafter I'm going to take a piece of solder, soldering wire, I'm going to cut a piece off to make it a bit easier and on the wire I'm going to basically start at one end and twist the wire around the copper open end about two or three times like this making sure it's nice together like this and then flat and parallel to the joint of the two copper wires I'm going to twist it again on the other end two or three times so it's going to look somewhat like that that would be the ideal uh, wrapping of the solder wire and then just going to cut off the excess part and once it looks like this I'm basically just going to put some solder flux on the joints as well before trying to join them permanently and uh, because I might be a bit shaky today or jittery I'm just going to take this joint and when you do the next step you need to make sure that the copper wire part is at the bottom where we are going to apply the heat so I'm going to put this on a stand like this so you can properly see the whole procedure like this with the copper wire at the bottom and then you're going to take a lighter like this you can use almost any type of lighter um, even this sort would be fine um, as long as you can make a, a bit of a medium to small type or size flame because you don't want the flame to be too big so let's give this a start so the flame is a bit on the big side I'm going to turn it down a slight bit and then at the bottom I'm going to start heating up the copper wire and not the solder the copper wire needs to heat up and that will then heat up the solder um, which will very nicely uh, properly melt the solder so let's have a look we're going to keep it there for a bit to make sure the copper wire gets nice and hot starts melting the solder the flux have already melted and went into all the nooks and crannies now you would want to do this in a well ventilated area as well because you don't want the fumes of the solder and the flux and everything to be breathing that in the whole time that's not good for your health it is quite harmful so be sure to do this in a well ventilated area or perhaps just put on a fan or something and open with some windows if you're doing it inside your home or wherever so there we'll see the solder starting to melt nicely into the copper windings just like that very nice I may have, may have overheated it a slight bit too much it's not even that warm and that's what it looks like all neatly soldered together oh, let's just try and get this into focus but there we go nicely and neatly soldered together this you can pull it and yank it it's not going anywhere should you want to you can just wipe it with a with a rag or anything like this just to wipe off the solder flux that was on there and then you can either put some heat shrink over the joint or with some electrical insulation tape and that would be a good proper joint well if you like this tip and you would like to see some more and if you like the videos that i'm producing be sure to like the video and also subscribe below if you haven't done so already so until next time I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.